My background is uh, liberal arts. I did an undergraduate in English literature and history at the University of Leeds in England. I got my BFA in musical theatre at Ithaca College. Um, and then right after that, I kind of jumped into the whole theatre scene. I moved to New York and worked in New York for um, about a year. I was a historian. I read a lot of books. And that really appealed to the, the guys who uh, <coughs> run the program. It, it's something that they can look to and say, oh, this guy, you know, he, he doesn't necessarily, he's never made a movie before, but he wants to, and he's obviously well read, whatever. They can take an awful lot from stuff that you've done. I looked at different programs. I applied to quite a few, actually, um, and all sorts of different communications management, media management, but this program seemed to be more of what I was looking for in terms of, um, it gave you the tools to be a leader in the entertainment industry. So before coming to, to America, um, I didn't know a huge amount about Pittsburgh. I'd heard of the Steelers. Uh, I'm a big, f I, like, I'm a football fan in the truest sense of the word, but I mean soccer when I say football. I don't know what I was thinking about Pittsburgh. I don't think I really had any clue what to expect. There's so much going on here. There's the, there's the museums, there's, there's obviously the sports, there's all the universities. I mean, there's, there's, there's upwards of 10 different, um, you know, higher education universities in the city. It's, it's a town that's really full of culture. It's amazing to me how many, each neighborhood has its own specific personality and culture and I've really felt at home here. It's been a really great experience so far. The first year at Carnegie Mellon is really focused on quantitative skills. Um, once again, there's a, there's a bunch of us who have not been in school for quite some time, and we really need that foundation. Yeah, it's great to go out and be in LA and be immersed in the um, LA culture, but if we don't have the skills to back that up, it's not gonna work out. Oh wow, the semester so far has, has, has moved at 100 miles per hour, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you get in, uh, I guess the, the program starts in, in mid-August, and by the time, uh, you know, you roll around to December, you wonder where the time's gone because you are in class a lot, you get a lot, there's a lot of work um, that you have to do. You're learning so much stuff, which is, which I personally love. I hate having too much time on my hands. All of the classes are so fascinating and um, I, I really feel like I'm enjoying them a lot and they're very relevant to what I want to do. Everybody kind of has the classes that they struggle with and has the classes that they, that they get. But they're all important, that's kind of the key. I mean, it can be frustrating at times. You think, oh, why am I doing this? Or I don't feel as if this is necessarily what I want to do. But then all you have to really do is sit down for five minutes and chat with a couple other guys in your course. And you're like, yeah, actually, I get it. Like, this is why I'm learning it. I wanted to get into the entertainment industry. I wanted to do it in LA. This program is taking me to LA. And things that I want to do this program actually gives me access to which is just really really exciting for me. The opportunities that we have to actually experience LA and have internships there and meet faculty that are actually working in the industry is something that I mean is not offered in I would say in any other master's program that I've seen. You know this is what you want out of a master's program you want to be challenged and it offers you just that. 